going on? What you got going on? Music. Show AZ tonight. Yo, can you take this shit to your fucking partner? Please? Yeah, give it to me. I made this piece for him. He doesn't wear jewelry, so we framed it. Give it to me, I'll take it. What is that? But also chipes. <laughs> Who is this? Push! God damn it, Wendy. You can't keep walking in and out like this, man. How to make? Make what? Pee pee. <laughs> alright, alright, fair. Hello, everybody. What's up, Wendy? Hello, Wendy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know my name, yeah. yeah Wendy, everybody knows who you are, Wendy. At 8 o'clock, Michelle, she's a black, beautiful girl. She's gonna be on for the first night at 8 o'clock, The Bachelorette. That's a good show. You like The Bachelorette? Yeah, so Michelle's the one, yeah? Yeah, it's a beautiful girl. One second. Good, yeah. yeah, thank you. Thank yes. you. You're really doing like a, a TV show okay. on YouTube. Yeah. YouTube is like just like you watch videos. Oh, videos. Yeah. It's online. So we're making like a TV show about everything we do. Okay, I got you now. Look at how cool this is. By the way, these are Drake's pieces right here. We got a little um, situation going. His birthday's coming up. Yeah. Get head down. Look at this. Oh, wow. <sighs> It's the baby for me. It's the airplane for me. This. The airplane. Air Drake. <gasps> Let's go. This one is nuts. The Air Drake enamel with the enamel clouds is so crazy. Uh, uh, New York, hey, hey, the dog? He's, he's waiting for me to send him something. Can I get yeah. subscribe? Baby, we gotta do subscribe so we can live on the actual. Right. But can I get that today? Like right now? Yeah, where you wanna do it? Right here. No curses, I'm sorry. Subscribe, guys, right here. I think it's right here. Is it right here? I think it's, I think it's I think right, right. right. Maybe right. here? Think lower. Okay. Wendy, where do you think it is? Subscribe! Oh, YouTube oh, channel! Subscribe! Thank you, Don't mess up with the- Lay your fucking <laughs> sunny ass down, you muscle head bitch! Stop! Can you tell them to subscribe right here, Betty? Oh, Put your fingers out oh, right this way. Subscribe. Hi, Wendy! Right here, Wendy, right on the camera. Hey, Wendy, right here, buddy. Right here. Thank you. Fuck. Oh, my God. Wendy, subscribe! Wendy, subscribe! Normal. Come on, look back a little bit. FBI, open up! Ooh, Sean Paul. Nope. When you get a cold, everything hurts. Aches and pain. That's great. Oh, shit. Um, <laughs> Greg said paper that's great. This is a sexually charged <laughs> situation. <laughs> oh, shit. Ass, you, you, don't you don't want a background? <laughs> no, you. You don't want a background from David? No, I don't he can make up. He can make up to you. That's it. For your eye. He can't touch me ever again. I'm gonna put him in the motherfucking cemetery. That's my thing, play. Like I said, I'm gonna let you kind of like spearhead this and yeah, just what do. Yeah, whatever. Three more totals. We talked about this. Okay. Big life, big jewelry, uh, things that you bought, like the biggest spend on jewelry, what you wear, what you wear before the show, what you like, what you're into. Junior high school. <laughs> He's uh, one of the, the new hype Williams and shit. Are you on my mom? That's uh, that's Wendy. You know, we take care of them. And then we got Joe and all the characters over there. But Rachel, can you put some Kevin Gates on? Can we get David dancing in the back? My, 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 I'm a little uncomfortable. <laughs> that's Joe. How's everything? I'm from Mississippi. You too. Yeah? Well, I live on a reservation now. Let's go black people. Oh. Joe, so Joe, Joe is, uh, he's an old head. He's about 60 yeah. years old. Yeah. He's never- Now I look good as a motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Where you at, Superstar? Do me a favor. Get in the corner right there while we do this. Right, right, right. Let's just, just dance while we do our thing over here, okay? Shit. And I got into this, you know, 10 years ago, 11 years ago. But, you know, it's, for me, it's, 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 yeah, it's, yeah, this is, I'm gonna this is a marketing play for me. But this is the stuff, like, I like doing, like, artsy pieces. What's your favorite, like, kind of jewelry? Um, I'm into, like, the, lately I've been into, I've never been into Cubans. Mm -hmm. I've been into, like, the, I got the 50 pointers right now. Mm -hmm. I think if I do go up, it'll probably be one. Mm -hmm. Like, the one care. You want all the way around? Yeah. What's up, my man? Of course, you're welcome wherever I'm at. 
Um, I don't know if that's gonna be possible because I'm working out. As soon as I leave here, I'm up here dealing with my jeweler. As soon as I leave from up here, I'm working out tonight before my concert. But but at the same time, if you want to, we can. But I don't know if we got a big enough truck because I got my cameraman, I got Ye. Should we fuck that up? Nah, it, nah, this is super strong. Okay. But you gotta be aware when you yeah. got it on. Mirror. 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 And me. <laughs> I ain't never seen you well. Nah. I ain't never. I'm playing, James. If I show you, you're gonna be like, see, I do like this, what you got on. Mm -hmm. I got a couple tennis braces. That's every now and then if I really just wanna just, okay, I'm saying something. But other than that, I wear a small tennis. Right? Yeah. I mean, they hit. If it's, it doesn't matter how big. So I got into framing jewelry. Cause it, you know, it hurts when somebody, you know, hustle their ass off and got a whole big chain and they're they dumping it in for something else. Right. It's like, I think, you know, you could do something with it. Nobody wanted to buy it cause you know, in the jewelry game, you end up losing when you bring it back. You buy it for scrap. So it, it always benefits us. Yeah. Not the buyer. When you melt it down? Yeah. That's it's different. That, I never yeah. seen nobody buying jewelry. Yeah. I chased my whole life to reach a certain <clears throat> point. I'm like, I'm trying to get there and get mm -hmm. there and get there. But I was already there. Mm -hmm. You know, you never see it when you're in it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just coming back from like deactivating my page. I had disconnected my Instagram for like a year and a half, made close to two years. Did you did you feel that social media affected anything in your life? It did. Mentally? Yeah, because I was making comparisons. Yeah, I should fuck you. Comparisons yeah, yeah. to me, that's like the killer of all jobs. Yeah, I agree. So with the song Big Life, like I'm all talking to myself. Mm -hmm. And I'm all talking to the people that's chasing, I guess, fame, so to say. I mean, I feel like the whole world, low key, is, is chasing this dream. And I was chasing this validation that I already had. Cause I'm anywhere. Like one thing about New York, I love up here. When I go in the streets in New York, mm -hmm. they salute, mm -hmm. like, cause of the work that I put in. All of my concerts here are sold out mm -hmm. because of the work that I put in, the groundwork. I've been doing this shit like 18 years. I'm still not where I want to be. Right. Where do I want to be? Do you I don't ever know feel you. like you'll ever get to where you want to be? No. When you stop having something to chase, I mean, life will come. I don't think that. I don't think you should ever have something to stop chasing. Right. I think that should always just have a going. bigger goal. Yeah. Every time. Every time I level up, I'm like, all right, now what? No matter how much money I made, I'm never comfortable. Never comfortable. Keep leveling up. Right. There's no comfortable spot when you keep leveling up. Right. right. Everybody looks at me like he's on, he's on, he's on, but I'm feeding so many people, I'm doing so much shit, I'm expanding, so it's, it's never like. It looks great. You upscale. Yeah, but, but when, 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 when we got people like, yo, let me hold something, I'm really scraping. I feel a kind of way because look at everything that I got and I'm showing on Instagram that looks sweet. And then you got to hold me to that or something. And it's like, I can't even, I can't even do that. Because yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing this. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I feel I feel bad, but it's also like, it looks crazy from so that side. it's not survivor's guilt what you're going through. It's more like, <clears> I, I, if I could do more, I would. I would. Yeah. But it's just, this is this is important. And that's why I'm at right now, it's crazy. I'm going through like a shitting phase, like getting rid of the people that's not serving my higher self, mm -hmm. or serving the, my cause, or in alignment with me. I'm careful about who I have in alignment with me because I'm big on energy. I'm not trying to sound like a monk. No, 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 but that's, that, that's, I feel like energy I'm just, is everything. I'm super big on energy right now, and that's just why I'm at with it. I like that elephant over there, dude. That Wendy! Wendy! Wendy slipped out. Wendy's big on energy, too. The more you talk about the shit you're talking about right now, I feel like you'd be able to win like that because people. It takes more courage and strength to show vulnerability. That's, but that's what I'm saying, and that and, and that's strong in itself. When you show that, people could gravitate to that because that's what people do want to say and do. Like, you know what? He just said that. That's how I feel, but I can't, I don't have the guts to say that. Gotta have a rough exterior. Yeah. yeah. Everybody out here fronting. I'm, I know what it is. I don't care, I'm still gonna get it, but it's, you know. I think it's a beautiful place to where you're comfortable with yourself to be vulnerable. Yes, sir. <clears throat> I think people could, could relate to that. I think a whole world would relate to that. Yes, sir. There's no losing in that. Thank you. That's all. You agree? I agree. The real jewels came out of his mouth. I know. <laughs> I'm just saying, it's just like everybody's, like everybody's playing, you know, this, like, this role. And the whole rap music industry, the way people get So you don't like Biggie? Oh, Biggie's better than JDK. <laughs> and that's it. Nobody went big. None of them niggas ain't fucking with JDK. Mop them niggas up. Ahead of his time. He had to go. Even when I make music, sometimes I take that extra breath. Because he used to take that breath. <laughs> he gave people a chance. 
Man, venue at the venue I've been to. Take them to the telly so I can bend you. Send you to the store, diamonds and more. Jealous females call you sluts and whore. I'm saying it. I'm saying it. Did he see? That you know he got me rapping my food orders and songs too. He was incredible. I swear to God. I still get chills. When he when he said he want the steak, the eggs and what was great. I was like, hold up, I'm hungry. Chicken sandwich, you know what I mean? But, but, but his wordplay was different. You know what yeah, I mean? This guy really elevated rap. He elevated it. He yeah. took it there. He gave people, he gave people HD. He used everything. Now, the first time I seen Joe Hump. Now, the only thing I might say. Uh, I just uh, usually uh, have to say, but when it go back to the music. Be honest, like with the, now, after I feel dressing, because right. you know after you kill him, after you get a kill, you say your prayer over there, you thank God for this and this and that, but you feel dressed him out, might leave his guts and let a bell or something on the coyotes eat it. Like when you feel dressed him, you take his intestines out of the... I'm from Harlem, I don't know, I don't know, I ain't, I'm, you never pay attention like that. I'm smarter than motherfucker, they can't tell me shit. It's, just a, it's a different attachment to what you, what you hunt and what you fish and what you grow, you have a different attachment, you have a greater appreciation for it. You just walk in the store and go buy some spinach. You ain't grow that shit. You're not thankful. You don't care. When you grow up farming, you know you know what had to go into this. Thank you for that. Like yes, sister. Sir. I have a picture with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'm the best motherfucker in the whole team. Fuck you. Don't shut the fuck up, nigga. <laughs> Sit your ass down. He looked a good work, man. Yes, sir. Good job. Hey Greg, I fuck with you. I do not fuck with you. I think it's a waste of money. I'm not a jeweler, man. I, I just, you know, I'm, I'm You know what you are? I'm I think the jewel is free. We just pay for the bullshit yeah. in the conversation. Yeah. yeah, we just pay you for your time. It's not my thing. I'm here for a different purpose. I got my blue. This open up my chakra and help with my 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 clarity. Then I got my green. This Open up my, my lower chakras and it bring good positive green jade energy into my life, like Buddha. And then I got my clear diamonds, they just give me energy. And I got Greg right here, I, I carry him on my hip like that. <laughs> <laughs> In case anybody want a problem. He give me good energy. <laughs> this is Kevin Gates, right now I'm here with Greg Yuna. I promise I did not buy any of this, he gave this to me for free. And if you want to see more shit like this. <laughs> he said free. For free. Just click subscribe right here. Subscribe, click the like or subscribe button. This is Kevin Gates. I love you. Positive energy. I ain't got no more money. And peaceful transitions. <laughs>